with Jews worldwide. There is a, there is a, I mean, you know, I used to say early on when I was a kid, I'd say when I was a young senator, I'd say, if I were a Jew, I'd be a Zionist. I am a Zionist. You don't have to be a Jew to be a Zionist. been on CNN or Fox either. Why well, do I have to go find this shit online? What's going on? Oh, look. It's on my dollar. Little, little, little. And then for friends, they're all the winners. Self evident, brother friends, then all men are created equal. No, they're not. Indeed, brother Washington. All Freemasons meet as equals. Oh, and Freemasons. We have an opportunity to create a nation in the very essence of Masonic morality. It would be wonderfully symbolic, don't you think? You'll be wanting to put the all seeing eye on our banknotes next. Mm. Uh, you are. Uh, you think I'm taking it a bit far? Please don't ask me questions like that, Brother Franklin. You know I cannot tell a lie. Oh, oh come on, Brother Washington. Everybody lies occasionally, surely. Especially politicians. Not me. Not even so much as an alternative fact. Oh, well, we must all be aware of fake news. <laughs> free to think what they like as well. We can have no thought police in our new society. The foundation stone of our new nation built on all those principles that we hold dear. The plans for our new capital city already have a very Masonic feel to them. Yeah. Candidate for initiation into the order, I'm giving them a little introduction into some of our mysteries. These two gentlemen are founding an entire nation built on our principles. There we have great promises for our new nation. You know, I wonder if other presidents after me will also be Freemasons. Many will be. Oh, uh, coincidence. And Freemasonry will become embedded in the American culture. Oh, it's everywhere. Will appear on the banknotes. Oh, God. These principles will be honored with a gift from your French brethren. A gift that will be a welcoming beacon to the poor and oppressed. This is the statue we are giving you. It's a bit small, isn't it? Oh, this is a maquette. The real thing is bigger. Much, much bigger. They're doing America shit like this and people are starving. Are you fucking kidding me? Many different walks Where of am I? Many different fields and many will be masons. Oh yeah, well, of course. Actors, writers, soldiers. I mean, it's all Builders. over. Unbelievable. Businessmen. Yeah, they own it all. Inventors. Astronauts. Uh, what on earth is an astronaut? <laughs> no, they're not. I don't follow. Well, they're not on Earth, they're in space. In fact, Brother Buzz Aldrin was the second man to walk upon the surface of the moon. Uh, that's the best thing I've heard this evening. What, that a mason walked on the moon? Man on the moon. Amazing. Yeah. But don't forget the musicians. Do not forget the musicians. <laughs> Authoritarian and totalitarian regimes continue to suppress Freemasonry, afraid of its strong heritage of liberty and equality. It symbolizes the inevitability of your end. The British Army had traveling lodges that moved. 
moved with regiments. Freemasons have served their countries and communities with distinction. Freemasons met across the <coughs> Union and Confederate divide to celebrate their common rituals. And today, Freemasonry remains an active part of military life in many countries. Unbelievable. Absolutely insanity. Freemasonry has burned as a blazing fire through the last three centuries. The driving force behind the Royal Society was initiated into Freemasonry. Prince Edward, Duke of Kent, father of Queen Victoria, and Prince Augustus, Duke of Sussex. The two princes brought their feuding Grand Lodges together and reconciled to be the United Grand Lodge of England. Kings George IV, William IV, Edward VII, Edward VIII, and George VI were all Freemasons, as were 18 dukes and princes, including the Duke of Edinburgh. This year, His Royal Highness Prince Edward, the Duke of Kent, celebrates his 50th year as Grand Master of the United Grand Lodge of England. His Royal Highness was proposed into Freemasonry by the then Grand Master, the Earl of Scarborough. He was initiated into Royal Alpha Lodge Number 16, an advocate for the craft 